Hi everyone. In the previous video, we saw a very interesting mathematical trick where the entire deck of cards was transformed into consecutive pairs of black and red. In this video, Karan will reveal how to do this trick. In case any one of you missed out that video, please make sure you watch that before watching this video. This trick is actually very simple. Uh, there are two parts to it. One is the trick part and the other is the math of it. So the trick is pretty simple. Uh, so the deck before starting the trick, before starting the magic, is arranged in some particular way. And that arrangement is uh, actually an alternate black and red. Okay. So once you have this arrangement, now the, the spectator, when they cut the card, so this just recall the steps which we did. So the spectator cuts the card, we place it at the bottom. Then you deal deal these cards uh, in in two different uh, piles, and uh, yeah, as many cards as you want in two different piles. And then you riffle shuffle uh, these two cards. So we almost did the trick again. So you riffle shuffle these two cards, and what you saw was um, you ended up having the entire deck in a way that your two cards are in pairs right so you always get a pair of red and black so the trick here is simply uh, nothing more than the initial setup of the deck uh, and once you have the initial deck set up in that way you will see that the trick works for you what's more interesting here is so now you're able to perform the trick for yourself what would be more interesting is actually to find out uh, why this works right uh, I, even after we riffle shuffle the cards which almost seems to any uh, person as being a very random shuffle of cards the pack of cards the deck of cards maintains certain properties uh, of itself so to think about that uh, I'll make another video but I would want you to uh, if for those of you who are interested in thinking and why this is happening, you can think about this in two parts. So firstly, think about uh, why did the top first two cards, just forget about the uh, rest of the deck, why did just the first two cards uh, end up being a pair of black and red? Okay, so once you answer that question, um, the next question for you to think about would be about the rest of the deck. So try to think of these two questions separately you can break them now uh, and uh, try to figure out why this works but yeah before you do that just try out the trick uh, and show it to yeah some people and have fun with it um, yeah even though it's a very simple trick but most of the people are really surprised by it and uh, the math behind it is the reason actually the reason behind it isn't so obvious and trivial although uh, the trick is very simple we'll discuss the math, the whole math behind it in the next video so until then have fun trying out with uh, some of your friends